Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. In today's video, we will understand what is a heat engine, how to calculate its efficiency, and what is the reason that uh, for any engine, efficiency can never be 100%. So, what is a heat engine? In simple words, we can put the definition as a machine which consumes heat as an input energy and converts it into mechanical work is called as a heat engine. So the terms which we have to remember is for a heat engine, input is heat denoted by Q, output will be mechanical work denoted by W, and an engine is a work producing device that is work is being produced by the engine. Now coming to the second part that is a schematic diagram regarding working of a heat engine. How we can represent the working of an engine. So if we have a high temperature reservoir also called as heat source at a temperature TH. We have another low temperature reservoir also called as heat sink at temperature TL such that TH is greater than TL and we have a heat engine working between these two reservoirs such that QH amount of heat is supplied from heat source to the engine and engine rejects QL amount of heat to a low temperature with reservoir and gives out work which is equals to QH minus QL. Now coming to the efficiency of a heat engine, Nita is given by output divided by input that is the ratio of output to the input. Here we have output as W and input is QH, so nita equals to W divided by QH. We also have W equals to QH minus QL, so substituting this value of W, we get nita equals to QH minus QL divided by QH. Separating the denominator, we get nita equals to 1 minus QL divided by QH. If we need to express this nita, that is efficiency in terms of percentage, we have to multiply it by 100. Now efficiency. Efficiency of a heat engine can never be 100%. So what is the reason? Let us take the same diagram and we will give certain values to this QH and QL in order to understand it in a better way. Let us say QH is equals to 10 units of heat supplied by the high temperature reservoir to the engine and QL equals to 2 units which are rejected by the heat engine to the low temperature reservoir. As per the definition, nita equals to QH minus QL divided by QH. So nita becomes 10 minus 2 divided by 10. So nita equals to 8 divided by 10, which gives us nita equals to 0 0.8. In terms of percentage, if we calculate, then nita equals to 0 0.8 into 100, which is 80% of the efficiency. Now, the reason this efficiency can never be 100% because this QL is a non-zero value and always positive because of which the numerator will always be smaller than the denominator. And this is the only reason why we have efficiency less than 100%. Because if this QL becomes zero, then this engine will be violating Kelvin Planck's statement for second law of thermodynamics and thus this engine does not exist. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe my channel and stay connected. Thank you for watching this video.